the number one supplement that every CrossFitter should be taking is creatine. Cheers. Now, the reason is because creatine is the number two most tested supplement ever in the history of supplements. The only other supplement that has been tested more is protein, and we all know the benefits of that. Creatine has been proven safe and effective time and time again. And after more than a decade in the supplement industry and after helping thousands of people, there's a lot of reasons why I like creatines. There's definitely muscle building benefits, there's strength benefits, there's cognitive benefits, but what I really love about creatine and why it is a great product for every single CrossFitter to start with is because it's cheap. Creatine is very inexpensive. It's an easy way for you to try supplements and start to get some actual results. For about 30 bucks a bag, 30 bucks a bottle, you're gonna get some good quality creatine. Now, a couple things to note about creatine. Creatine monohydrate is the best form of creatine that you're gonna get. All other forms of creatine, like ethyl ester and hydrochloride and all this other crap, is more or less a fancy marketing term. So don't waste your money on those other types of creatine. Just stick with creatine monohydrate. It's the safest and most effective. Now, one thing to look for when you're buying creatine monohydrate is the brand Creapure. Creapure is the world leading brand of creatine production. It's a German company. Their creatine monohydrate is 99.98% pure, meaning they filter out all the impurities. Other creatine brands just don't do that. So when you're going to buy a creatine product, make sure that you're looking at the label for the Crea Pure logo. If it doesn't have that, don't buy it. If it has that, make sure that it's not watered down with other types of creatine to lessen the effectiveness of it. You want to get a product that has 100% Crea Pure creatine monohydrate. That is the best type of creatine, the best bang for your buck that you're going to get. A couple other things about creatine is that you need to have it with some type type of delivery mechanism. So you don't want to just take creatine completely by itself. You want to mix it with some type of carbohydrate to help with delivery so that your body can actually absorb that creatine the right way. And you also want to keep it away from caffeine. Caffeine is diuretic and so it's going to hinder the absorption process. Will you still absorb it? Yeah, you'll still get some absorption, but if you want optimal maximum absorption, you want to try to keep it away from caffeine. And the last thing I'll say about creatine is that the timing isn't as important as the consistency. So you want to make sure that you're taking it every single day. The timing doesn't really matter as much as the consistency does. So whatever time of day, just make sure it's consistent. My pro tip is I take it at night before I go to sleep as just part of my bedtime routine. I'll take a dry scoop of creatine, throw it in, swallow it down, brush my teeth, go to bed. It's a great way to end my day and make sure that I'm maximizing my creatine uptake. But with that said, if you're gonna take your creatine around your workout, there's been studies to show that post-workout is more optimal than pre-workout. But again, it's all about consistency. So that's why I picked creatine as the go-to supplement that every single CrossFitter should be taking. If you wanna know the brand that I suggest, check the link in the description. I've also put together a free guide, a CrossFitter's Guide to Supplements. The link is in the description. You can download the free guide to give you a clear path of what to do when it comes to supplements. It's a much deeper dive, some baseline knowledge of everything supplements for CrossFit. So definitely check that out if you want to PR your workouts and get on a path to performing better and recovering faster. Cheers. That's the way you do it.